What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So originally I was planning to bring you guys a stream of me grinding up to rank 500 today or at least getting one step closer to that goal but it would appear that my internet service provider had different plans for me so instead we're gonna do a showcase of one of the best 120 leads in this entire game possibly the best 120 lead physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and for those of you who are newer players and you're not too familiar with him you're in for a treat because he is absolutely insane. Now, let's take a quick look at what this card does before we jump into the actual gameplay, starting with his leader skill. He provides super physical types with key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, and he also provides extreme physical types with 1 key, HP, attack, defense plus 50%. Now, moving on to his super attack, it's very, very unique because he actually has three different super attacks that he launches at different times depending on how much key he gets. So at 9 key, he does Galactic Donut which causes immense damage to an enemy and greatly lowers defense. At 11 key, he does Charging Ultra Boo Boo Volleyball which is by far his hardest hitting super attack. It massively raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy and I believe that massive increase is a 50% attack increase. Now don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And at 12 key, he does life risking blow, which causes immense damage to the enemy and raises attack for one turn, which I think is 30%. Again, these numbers might be a little bit off, but I'm pretty sure they're quite accurate. All three of these super attacks are very, very good. But like I said, the 11 key is by far the hardest hitting one. So we're going to try to get that off in the showcase as often as possible. Moving on to his passive, he gets 120% attack plus an additional 60% attack and minus 30% defense for 7 turns from start of turn, which does make him a bit of a glass cannon, but you know what? He does so much damage that it makes up for his lack of defense. Now, as far as his hidden potential skills go, we went with 15 critical and 11 additional, and everything else is pretty standard. His links are Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, The Innocent, Budding Warrior, and Fierce Battle, and he fits in four categories at the moment. Fusion, Majin Buu Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, and Super Saiyan 3, and he is optimal in all four of those categories. Now today, we're gonna bring him on an LR Gogeta-led Fusions team, mainly because your boy Tiger does not have Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, so we can't do the Super Saiyan 3 category team. Hopefully I'll pull him on some kind of Christmas banner next month, but we'll have to see. Anyways, that's besides the point. We're going to do the UI Goku event because that is one of the harder events in this game. And if he performs well here, it's going to be a good sign because, you know, it means that he can actually do really well against these harder Dokkan events. I'm going to tell you guys right now. He'll do just fine. He's going to be amazing. He's going to hit super hard, especially in the later stages because, of course, UI Goku is a int type and physical types have an advantage against int types. But anyways, <laughs> this is one of the harder events and UI Goku does get a fair amount of damage reduction as well. So it's going to be a good showcase. It's going to be a good look at what this guy can do. And once we're done this, I'm sure it won't take that long because this team is pretty crazy. Then we're going to move on to another stage, possibly... Um, LR Vegito maybe, or I don't know, SHA3 Bardock, the guy that I was talking about who I can't pull. Either way, we'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, but we're starting with UI Goku right now. Unfortunately, he's not in rotation, so we're just, we'll just provide some orbs to these guys. Move on to the next stage. Uh, this might actually turn into a bit of a <laughs> bit of an LR Gogeta showcase because mine is rainbowed as well. And uh, he's, he's gonna try to take over, so we're gonna try our best to actually not let him overshadow Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, but yeah, I'm, just fair warning, this might turn into a bit of a Rainbow LR Gogeta showcase as well. <laughs> okay, let's try to focus on Gotenks though. Let's try to focus on Gotenks. So, I believe this is not the best Link setup, honestly. As you can see, these guys don't give each other links, but actually, this actually, this actually might be good. This actually might be good because now we can get the 11 key off. So right off the bat, we got the 11 key, we got... Um, Pandel supporting as well for 30% attack. Unfortunately, type disadvantage, but hopefully you can get a critical. He does get, he does have 15 critical on his um, hidden potential skills, right? So we'll see, we'll see. 2.6 million, you saw that, right? 2.6 million, and it's gonna be, it's gonna hit for 587k, which is not too good. But like I said, damage reduction on the Goku as well as type disadvantage, um, and no critical. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was just talking about how LR Gogeta would try his best to take over the showcase and make it his own showcase. But 
what can you do, man? What can you do? He's rainbowed. He's going to be here. He's going to stick around. So, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> maybe I'll put him out of rotation so that um, he won't come around as often. Now, this one, I believe this Goku is the one that one shot. So we're going to use our Ghost Usher. I brought the Ghost Usher specifically for this reason. Um, and he can get his super off. You know what I love about this Fusion team, though? Aside from the fact that it's absolutely insane, is the fact that they provide each other with so much key, man. Like, a lot of the time, you only need one or two key orbs to get any of these guys' supers off, which is awesome. Um, it is a bit of an issue, though, for Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks because you don't necessarily want him to have full key. But a lot of times, when he's linked up with, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or Int Gogeta, he has 11 key already, so you're forced to get the 12 key off. So that is a bit of an issue. Uh, I don't believe it's as big of a problem when you're uh, using a super physical team. Um, I'm not sure about Super Saiyan 3. No, Super Saiyan 3 probably has the same issue because they all have over in a flash, right? So it is a bit of an issue. Just, just keep that in mind. Um, like I said before, actually I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I believe that the Gotenks is his best linking partner because they have Innocence, they have Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan, a bunch of attack links. So as you can see, he provides Gotenks with a lot more, or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks with a lot more attack than the LR Gogeta. So we're gonna put my LR Gogeta out of rotation. Let's try to get this uh, guy's uh, 13 or 11 key off, but I don't think that's possible. I don't think it's possible. So we're gonna do 12 key. No, wait, wait. Yes, 11 key, there we go. There we go, 11 key. And uh, this doesn't really matter. Um, let's try to not get Gogeta's super off. Yeah, there we go. Gogeta's not getting his super off, which is good. 2.5 million, no support from Pandel like last time. So damage is a little bit lower, but we did 1.5 mil. 1.5 mil, still no criticals, which I'm surprised by because at this point, usually in a fight, he would have done at least one or two crits for me, but it's okay. That's okay. That was still a good number, 1.5 mil. And this Gotenks is low key, very solid as well. If you guys haven't used your thank you tickets or used all of them yet and you're missing that Super Saiyan Gotenks, the physical one that I just used, I would recommend actually picking him up because he is very, very solid. He's a great sub for Fusion, for Super Physical, um, Hybrid Saiyans as well. Just a really overall really solid unit. But anyways, we're talking about Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks today. I keep getting sidetracked by all these great units. I'm actually just a really good, like really big fan of the fusion category overall. Like, look at what this Gogeta can do, man. In Gogeta, my Gogeta's not even rainbowed. Actually, I think he has three dupes, which is pretty close to being rainbowed, but he's not rainbowed, and that's important because he almost had a two million attack stat right there. He just did a ton of damage. Of course, he has um, super effective against all types because of his passive, so he's a beast, but <laughs> this actually, oh my God. Like I said, man, Gogeta's always gonna try to overtake any showcase he's in and make it his own because he's just such a monster and what can you do about that? I mean, you really can. I mean, I want, I, I need to have him on this team because he's the leader, but I don't want him to be overshadowing Gotenks all the time, but you know what? At least we can get this attack off. Um, why don't we, you know, okay, I'm not gonna do it this turn. I did bring a Deborah cookie, but next turn, if, if UI Goku survives, then we will do a Deborah cookie. Um, but I, I have a feeling that with this team, it's not gonna happen. Okay, 2.4 mil. We get a crit off, please. Critical. Make me look good. Make the showcase look good. Nah, 1.3 mil. But it's okay. It's okay. Let's see how much you can tank this attack for. Probably not too much, considering he's not the greatest of tanks. But you guys already know that because he get he does get get minus 30% on his defense. Um, but that wasn't too bad. You know what? This Goku does so much damage, and the fact that he ate that for what was it, 47k, something like that. Not too bad. I will take it. I will take it all day. And next up, we have Gogeta Super, which looks dope. Oh, this is the 12 key super, so we didn't get the 18 key super off. And of course, he's gonna do an additional and just finish off Goku. There we go, okay. <laughs> GG. I don't think that was even my rainbowed LR Gogeta, actually. I think it was a friend LR Gogeta, which had one dupe. But okay, you know what? That wasn't too bad of a showcase. That wasn't too bad of a showcase. We're gonna move on to another event now. Do at least one more event so that I can use that Deboro cookie and hopefully can get some crits off, some additionals because his hidden potential stuff is not activating and it's pissing me off. Uh, six minutes though, not too bad time for UI Goku's event. So let's see what's available to us right now. That was UI Goku. Uh, this is LR Vegito, Super Saiyan 3 uh, Bardock. You know, I think the best one to do is LR Vegito. So let's do LR Vegito. Two of the hardest events in the game, UI Goku, LR Vegito, LR Gogeta as well. Um, 
probably Jiren is up there and also SCP Vegeta, but I still feel like UI Goku is probably the most the most difficult one right now on global. Um, super physical, and we got our 55% Gogeta friend. There we go. Let's jump in. So, so far, uh, he's not... I think I hyped him up a little bit too much in the beginning. <laughs> but he's, he's amazing, man. He's really, really good. But I want him to show you guys some crazy numbers, and he's not doing that yet. Hopefully, we can get that going. Get that going in this fight. Um, and of course, yo, this happens every single time, man. Every single time I'm trying to showcase a unit, they always end up at some point in the last rotation when I start a fight. So as you can see, Gotenks is at the is in the last slot right now, right? So he's gonna come back on the third turn, which sucks because there's gonna be two turns now without him. But good thing is when he comes back, we can link him up with this Super Saiyan Gotenks. So let's keep him in rotation. Um, we can probably finish this guy off with this Gogeta here. And we're just gonna move on. Let's see what Gogeta can do. Like I said, man, it, it always becomes somewhat of an LR Gogeta showcase. 3.4 mil, of course, boosted by the Pandel as well. And he's gonna crit for 4.5. Okay. <laughs> okay, Gogeta, you know what? You already made your point. You already made your point. You are absolutely broken, absolutely stupid, stupid good. And I understand why people are falling for that trap of a banner that is the. Um, Thank you celebration or Tanabata banner because if you guys don't have, there's people out there who don't have the LR Gogeta or LR Vegito. I'm sure there are a lot of them. I'm saying it, I'm saying that like, you know, everybody has him, which is not true. But for those of you who don't have him, yeah, I understand why you want him because he's crazy. He is absolutely insane. But that banner is just bad, man. I made two videos about it already. One video just talking about the banner itself, and another video talking about the banner once it dropped on Global today. Um, I guess today, which is day of the filming. If you're watching it later, of course, it's not today. But that that banner, when it dropped on Global, I was like, this is even worse than JP had it. And uh, in, in addition to that, there's those thank you um, packs in the Baba Shop. Not in the Baba Shop, the Pilaf's Trove Shop that are just so, so bad, man. Like, can't believe they did that. I really can't believe they did that because it's such a bad look for them. And uh, I'm disappointed, honestly. I'm very disappointed in Bandai. Of course, Bandai doesn't care. They don't care about my opinion, but I am disappointed. Just as a consumer, as a player of this game, I am very disappointed, man. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. If you guys are summoning, best of luck to you. Or if you already have summoned, or if you're watching this way in the future, then it doesn't really matter. Oh, sweet. Okay, additional, additional. That was almost 2 mil, by the way. Can we get a critical? We got a critical 2.4 mil. So in total, with those two attacks, he did about 4.5 mil, guys. About 4.5 mil. Um, oh crap, actually, I didn't use the Burrow Cookie yet. So this turn, we're going to try to not get supers off. We're going to try, try to, oh, mm, you know what? I don't know if that's possible. Okay, you know what? Okay, at least Gogeta's not getting a super off, or LR Gogeta. Uh, Ink Gogeta has to get a super off, and Pandel cannot super. Really, if she supered, it wouldn't have made much of a difference. But the more HP he has left, the more that Gotenks can do after. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna leave it like this. Hopefully he doesn't do additional or something like that and kill him. He did do additional, but it's okay. Okay, this Gogeta does not do enough damage. We're good. If the LR Gogeta got his super attack off with the additional, it might have finished LR Vegito. That's how broken LR Gogeta is, man. That's how broken LR Gogeta is. He can probably with an additional super one shot or just finish off this LR Vegito by himself, which is not what we wanted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is sweet. Um, okay, so you go over here. Let's use the Burrow Cookie, see what happens. Please change a lot of orbs. Sometimes nothing happens. Sometimes you get a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. I'll take that. Okay, perfect. Take those orbs. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Now, unfortunately, he's not going to get his 11 key. I wish there was some way we could give him all those orbs and still get his 11 key off, but the math doesn't really work out, right? So, <laughs> this is still going to be good. Let's see what happens. I, I'm hoping he one shots. I hope I'm hoping he one shots. 4.5 mil. Get a crit, please. Get a crit. Ah, oh, 2.7. But you know what? That was good. That was still good. <laughs> you can't you can't scoff at almost 3 million damage, guys. All right. So there's the showcase. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Um, the numbers were were good. I think the numbers were good overall. He's an absolute beast. And I think I might have oversold him a little bit at the beginning, but I personally do think he is the best 120 lead in the game. I know some people are going to be like, yo, but Gogeta though. But this guy hits way harder than Gogeta. Um, I guess, I mean, on average, Gogeta will probably do around the same damage because he has super effective. But 
I don't know, man. I just feel like this guy is the best 120 lead for various reasons. He does so much damage. He is optimal on four different categories, and also, of course, super physical, which is his own team. And uh, he's just he's just a beast. Like, <laughs> what else can I say? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this whole discussion. Whether you think he's the best, or whether you think maybe Ingo is better, or maybe you have another pick. Maybe you think that Super Saiyan 4 Goku's better, or you think that physical coolers. I don't know. There's a lot of good 120 leads, but in my opinion, this guy is the best. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase of my rainbow physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. He's amazing. He's amazing. Nobody can convince me otherwise of that. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for today, guys. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all for me. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.